guys, I hope you're going well. So today we're doing a top five countdown. I love doing lists like this, it is always so much fun. So we're counting down top five animated heroes. Uh, I'm doing this as a collaboration with Ash here on YouTube. Uh, you know him from the Captain Vitus show. Uh, he is a movie reviewer, he's also a gamer and a musician. Please go and check out his channel. I'll leave a link to his video in the description box down below. Also, I'll just mention quickly in case you're wondering, I am not in my usual filming location. Um, I'm not in my apartment. I'm just actually in a hotel right now. Uh, I've just come across to Palm Springs overnight for a bit of work. So that is why I am making do with this lovely backdrop. So when thinking about doing a top five uh, animated heroes, uh, I, it's really exciting because I love cartoons, I love anime, I love animation, and so there is a lot of really good, uh, good characters to pick from. So this was pretty hard to narrow it down but uh, when I'm when you think of heroes I'm really trying to think of people that not just like your typical like superhero type people or people with uh, powers and stuff like that it's more like just leaders like leaders of society like stand-up characters they're the kind of people that you want to have with you when you're in a tight spot because they're logical they think on their feet and they have good judgment number five is Sora from Kingdom Hearts I used to play Kingdom Hearts on PS2 when I was like 15 and 16 and I used to be obsessed obsessed with this game I loved it and Sora was just the best kind of hero I loved like playing him I just thought he was this he had really great values, he was a cool like teenage character, um, he got to hang out with Goofy and Donald Duck and like save the world. Uh, he had an adventurous spirit as well, I think that the game was set where he like went travelled from world to world and yeah it was just a really cool cool game. I kinda wanna play that game right now. Number four, I couldn't go past Sheriff Woody from Toy Story and like all the Toy Stories, one, two and three, like this was such an epic flawless trilogy. So good. Like, there was 11 years between the second movie and the third movie, yet they managed to pull it off. Of course they had a hard time choosing between Sheriff Woody and Buzz Lightyear because they are just the most perfect dynamic duo team and it's kind of hard to separate them. But it's Woody who is Andy's favourite toy and plus Woody is a cowboy. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> Reach for the sky. Plus, if you pick Woody, Woody also comes with a bonus, Bullseye. Ride like the wind, Bullseye! <laughs> Number three, I couldn't go past a Studio Ghibli film. I had to pick something from Miyazaki, and that is Haku from Spirited Away. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned Spirited Away on my channel before because it is one of my top uh, Miyazaki films. I just absolutely love this movie, and Haku... <sighs> He's so, like, he's just, I just want him to be my friend. <laughs> so Zen is the main girl. She's like this bratty 10 year old girl who gets mixed up in the spirit world accidentally. And it's Haku that comes to her rescue, but not in an over the top sort of way. He doesn't just do things for her and save her like that, you know. He teaches her about herself and having to stand up for herself and, and ha having to get through the situation of being trapped in this world and, you know, kind of abiding by the rules in order to get herself out of the situation. And it really brings out the best in her personality. And then it's her who in turn is able to rescue Haku. So the two of them have this really sweet friendship. He is also very conflicted because he's under the spell of Yubaba, who is the witch of the bathhouse where the whole story is set and he is her henchman and has to do her bidding uh, as he, in his dragon form which is so awesome uh, even though he wants to do the right thing and, and break free so yeah I just I love that movie so much for number two this is a movie I've definitely talked about on my channel before and that is Hazel from Watership Down voiced by the incredible John Hurt so Watership Down I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in a video and I was just saying that uh, I saw this as a very young child and I've always loved rabbits, I've always had pet rabbits and still to this day I have a pet rabbit. So um, I've always loved rabbits and this film Watership Down I saw way too young and it is extremely violent and brutal about social hierarchies within societies and within uh, you know different groups and it is not 
a movie for kids. But I did see it as a kid and definitely stayed with me in a good way though. I mean, it gave me nightmares for weeks afterwards, but it did impact me a lot. And Hazel is the leader of one of the groups of rabbits who is fleeing his warren. He is such an incredible leader because he is the kind of leader that leads with uh, brains, not brawn. He's highly intelligent and he is a really great logical thinker. Uh, he's not the kind of person who's just going to dash into a potentially dangerous situation. He's going to think things through. He's diplomatic and the way he tries to reason first before resorting to violence, especially with the tyrant evil, scary-ass rabbit, Woundwort, I think his name is, uh, and then there's that crazy scene which was so, like, the most high, like, had the highest tension of any scene I'd ever seen up until that point as a kid. I remember when Hazel, uh, decides, like, finally comes with, up with the idea to set the local, like, farm dog, uh, on Woundwort, and it is just such a crazy, crazy scene. Number one, Ichiban, finally. I had to have a female in this list. I couldn't have a list of animated heroes and not include one female. I love Mulan, and if you've been following my channel for a little bit, you know that I'm not a fan of musicals, but this is one of the rare exceptions. Mulan is a wonderful animated musical action comedy drama blend. Fa Mulan, in order to protect her aging father, she takes his place in the conscripted Chinese army and impersonates a male soldier. And she's, in she's accompanied by her sidekick, the misguided Mushu, who tries to help her out along the way. And it's really cute and really funny and great songs I you know still remember like all the lyrics don't make me sing them I will it's kind of funny because I do remember reading an article one time how the movie Milan kind of is about empowering females and showing that you don't need a man to, in order to take charge of your own life and then the irony of course in Mulan is that in the end you know she does end up with a man but I don't mind I still love everything that it stands for and I think it's a really great movie it is based I'm sure I've heard that it's based on uh, a Chinese mythological female hero so I think that's really cool too so there you go I had to finish with a female I had to finish with Disney I mean animated been brainwashed from childhood to love Disney and yeah, don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. That's it, my top five animated heroes. And of course there are so, so many, but these are just five that I picked out for today. Uh, there are so many that I could give honorable mentions to, but that'll do for today. Why don't you let me know in the comments below what your top five would be or who your top, you know, number one animated hero is. Let me know. I would like to know. Make sure you check out Ash at uh, the Captain Vitus show. I will leave a link to his channel in the description box down below. He has also done a top five countdown of animated heroes. A really, really great list. And some great ones that I hadn't even thought of, which is really cool. That's all from me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Keep up to date with my movie reviews. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.